There was a great Native American warrior in the eastern United States who was part of a warring nation. They made war with all the tribes around them. Then one day, one of the neighboring tribes attacked the village and killed his wife. They had a six-year-old son and the son watched as the mother was killed. Later the boy became of age to start the rite of passage into manhood, to become a great warrior. His father wanted him to follow in his footsteps, to learn all there was to become a great warrior. He asked his son to take the first step towards becoming a great warrior. And his son said, no, I will not kill. Concerned about his son, he worried that he would not be able to take care of himself and perhaps get killed in the end. Then one night, Great Spirit came to the father and said, I'm bringing you a great gift one that you will never forget. And when he awoke, at the foot of his bed was his son, but he was a grown man. They embraced each other and the father could not believe that his son was in his twenties. Why are you here, my son? This is not your time. I have come to kill myself as a child, the son said. I have dishonored you, Father, for you see in the future I never become the great warrior that you wanted, but a peacemaker. I even brought peace to all the tribes around. We had a great meeting of the First Nations and everyone came together, but some of the tribes did not believe in peace, and at that meeting they killed you. I'm distraught over this. If I had listened to you and learned to become a great warrior, I could have defended you. Yet I stood by and watched as they killed you. I don't want this to happen, so I've come here to kill myself as a child to prevent you from dying. And with that, the father held his grown son in his arms and embrace and said, I would rather die with honor and grow old knowing my son did not honor his heart as the great peacemaker that he is. And who knows, now that you have come, things may be different. Great spirit it has mysterious ways. Go back, my son. I am proud of you. I love you the way you are. And with that, the father was at peace, and so was the grown son. And they hugged, and the grown son said, I love you, father. And at that moment, the son melted into the arms of the father and disappeared. And from that point on, the father treated his young son very differently, with honor and love, and respect for being who he was inside instead of being who he wanted him to be. For you see, we are all great divine beings, all with a great divine destiny. I love you.